Men of the Nigeria Police Force on Saturday morning twatted a June 12 protest at the Ghani Fawemi Park in the Ojota area of Lagos when they started firing tear gas canisters. The protest began around 8.30 a.m. and was going on smoothly with the protesters, mostly youths, expressing their dissatisfaction with the state of the nation. The protesters who chanted Buhari must go, say no to injustice, amongst other solidarity phrases, took to their heels and scampered for safety when the security operatives started shooting. Captain TV correspondent who was covering the protest also ran for cover as the security operatives were keen on shooting their guns. Check the register them. If Tinubu is sure, let him come out and face us okay. at election without rigging. Okay. It will be well with them. Yeah. At the end of the day, they, they have the power, they can molest us, they can embarrass us on the streets yeah. like we are okay. criminals. What yeah. kind of nonsense is this? Rounds, we are not aimed. Let police that know that them. we are fighting for them. Nigerians are dying every day and the impunity of these people continue. Nepotism, I've never seen any leader in Nigeria, a president, that is so nepotic as this president. Roughly around 10 o'clock in the morning, with the aim of doing nothing other than just exercising my constitutionally guaranteed right to protest, to make my voice heard, to express my displeasure when I feel so. But unfortunately, the government of Lagos, the government of Nigeria, spared absolutely no efforts to make sure that this gathering was clamped down, that this gathering was brought to an end. They deployed no less than 10 Amon trucks. I even saw a helicopter. Can you believe that? A helicopter in a city that is struggling with huge levels of crime, efforts and resources that should have been deployed to protect the citizens of Nigeria, the citizens of Lagos, but these resources are being wasted. However, while addressing the media, the Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Hakim Odumosu, says the police fired tear gas to disperse hoodlums who wanted to hijack the protest at the Ghani Fawemi Park in the Ojota area. I heard it earlier. That what warranted that one now, I won't deny that, was that the road was blocked. I have the video evidences. They blocked the road here and the traffic has extended to Odoyalaru going towards Maryland. They call it block, barricaded the road here now. So with tires, with all a road right here. And the traffic has extended so beyond so serving up, going in. So that's the great impression that those coming to Lagos, those going outside Lagos cannot move. And we appeal. And I know very well that it is not the Ministry, I mean, those who are protesting with genuine interest that did that. So the Ministry within, actually, you know, Ministry in uh, Kedja here. So they must have been those that masterminded that and infiltrated. So that way I said, okay, the minimum force is just liberate the road. We liberated the road, so nobody injured, nobody, even the safe people arrested, released everybody immediately. And nobody in police, nobody in police custody. Popular comedian. Debo Adebayo, also known as Mr. Macaroni, also joined protesters and while speaking, he expressed his discontent at the president, who he said contested presidential elections at least four times before he got to power. But now the same person is causing pains to Nigerians. It's, it is unfortunate to say the very least that we are in a system like this. I mean, I said it earlier, I said... Um, uh, President Buhari is someone that rode into um, power on the basis of protest, on the basis of, oh, we are tired of the corruption, we are tired of this or that. So for you to be shrinking our human rights now is appalling. It's an embarrassment and I, and I know that the president can do better. Nevertheless, Nigerians remain relentless as they refuse to be silenced. <laughs> The economic degradation and mass unemployment in the country became the bone of contention. Protesting peacefully, and I wonder why uh, police should come and be arresting them, shooting guns against them. I think it is not it is not normal, it's not proper. We are in Nigeria. Those of us that does not have money to send our family to abroad. What did they want us to do? We are suffering here. Everyone is suffering in Lagos. We are buying Gary at the rate of 1,000, 1,500 naira. 
Gary, that even no one that is recognizing it in, in, in any way before, it has turned to a goat for everybody. Situation where security of our citizens cannot be granted. Infrastructures are in high level of comatose. Everything about Nigeria is in kiosk. Nigeria is suffering agony, serious agony. Rice is unaffordable. Gary, they said it's for common people. Gary is 1,500 naira per paint bucket. It's not affordable for the masses. And they said they will make it. When they came in, Gary was 480 naira for plastic when they came in. And today it's 1,500. Have they made life better for Nigerians? 2021 Democracy Day in Nigeria's history is a day where Nigerians demand better governance. Dumoke Adebari, Kaftan Television News, Lagos.